The former president is in Washington, D.C. tonight for the final time. The 41st president is lying in state at the U.S. Capitol for a fitting 41 hours. A live look now at the Capitol Rotunda, where even now people are lining up to pay their final respects to the president. Earlier tonight, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump arrived at the Capitol to honor Mr. Bush. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning in Washington, D.C., with our Jacob Rascon. Jacob? Bill and Dominique, thousands of Americans have already made their way inside the Capitol Rotunda to pay their final respects. As, as a country, we witness a remarkable and rare moment in American history. It was a ceremony fit for a president. Traditional rituals executed with precision. Only the fifth U.S. state funeral in a half century and the first in more than a dozen years. George Herbert Walker Bush, honored for extraordinary achievements, chief among them, many said, his humanity. He kept us flying high and challenged us to fly higher still. The naval aviator, businessman, congressman, ambassador, CIA director, vice president, and 41st president of the United States remembered in the Capitol Rotunda for his goodness down to his final days. Just in time for my son's winging, there came not only a signed photograph, but, of course, a letter, hand-signed as well. Among the hundreds first in line for the public viewing from across the country and from all political persuasions, Sheila Gallagly was proud to represent 41's hometown of Houston. Her final goodbye, a moment of deep reflection. He could have taken a different path, but you know, he turned his life to service and I really admire that. President Donald Trump and his wife Melania waited until after the private ceremony to pay their final respects. Americans everywhere pausing to consider again Bush 41's legacy of leadership. Guys, a lot of Texans in the line tonight. In fact, we just met a couple of guys who flew here from Houston just to go inside the Capitol Rotunda. And as mourners leave, they're given a card as a gift from the Bush family that says in part, we deeply appreciate your many prayers and kindnesses. The public viewing will be going on overnight into Tuesday and through Wednesday morning before the mass at the Washington National Cathedral. Reporting live at the Capitol building, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank